First there was Pfizer and Moderna, then there was Johnson & Johnson. Now we've got a new vaccine on the block, Novavax, based out of Maryland, which has an efficacy rate of over 90%. And on social media, one claim has been spreading around. Cool fact, they use moth cells to make their vaccines. Sounds pretty interesting, so let's verify. Is that true? Our sources are a pair of professors from Johns Hopkins University. Dr. William Moss and Dr. Namanje Bumpus. We also look to Novavax itself. So let's get into it. Were moths really used? I like to think of them as little factories. Dr. Moss says yes. Here's how it works. Scientists are injecting moth cells with the spike protein gene. That's the same spike protein that's on the coronavirus. The moth cells will then get to work, producing more spike proteins. It's not like they have these cages of moths. Uh, it, they're moth cells. Um, that are growing like in a in a petri dish um, or in, in this case probably in a big vat. Once it's in those cells in culture it can just replicate and replicate. Dr. Bumpus says that scientists will then use those spike proteins in the vaccine. When our body sees those spike proteins it triggers an immune response and trains our body to respond to the real thing. The moths are just a means for producing it. They're just the factory but they're not at all then, the moth cells are not, you know, at all anything to do then with the actual vaccine that you're getting. So we can verify that yes, moth cells were used in the production of this new vaccine. In Maryland, Seven Kozlov with your Verified.